we have a crisis in the world, tremendous crisis, and also crisis in our consciousness, in us. I see the urgency of change, radical revolution, mutation in the mind. I see it. It is necessary. There is complete quietness of the mind, and that which is silent has vast space. Only then that which is nameless comes into being. This is Urgency of Change, the Krishnamurti podcast. Hello and welcome to episode 36 of Urgency of Change. This week's episode is Krishnamurti in conversation with Christopher Titmus, entitled Inquiring into Meditation. This is a podcast from Krishnamurti Foundation Trust, based at Brockwood Park in the UK. For more information about activities and programs at Brockwood, such as the Krishnamurti Retreat Centre, Brockwood Park School, and more about the Foundation, please visit our website at kfoundation.org. You can also find our daily quotes and videos on Instagram and Facebook at Krishnamurti Foundation Trust. Christopher Titmus, a former Buddhist monk, is a teacher and writer in the Buddhist tradition. He teaches and holds retreats in many countries around the world, and many of his talks are available online. His books include The Buddha of Love, Light on Enlightenment, An Awakened Life, and Poems from the Edge of Time. This conversation between Krishnamurti and Titmus was recorded at Brockwood Park in 1984. Krishnamurti asks, What do we mean by the word meditation? Why should we meditate? Do we need to be taught how to meditate? Have we extended ambition from this world to the spiritual world? Who is the controller that controls thought? Firstly, I wish to express my appreciation and uh, gratefulness to you for the opportunity to come here to meet with you today. Um, It's something which I personally have looked forward to for a long time. Um, Krishnaji, I would like to discuss and explore with you the the field of meditation. Um, I wish to discuss it with you because it is an area of life which I am very much primarily involved and my work is such that I travel to different parts of the world as a facilitator, one might say, in the sphere of meditation, Um, emphasizing and stressing the importance and significance of it. One of the... You're only concerned with meditation. I'm concerned with other areas of... Primarily... Primarily meditation. Meditation. Yes. And one of the questions which arises with great frequency, of course, in regard to your approach and outlook upon life is the question of meditation with form, structure, method and technique as emphasized in many of the Eastern traditions in contrast to your emphasis which is very much that meditation must be rather free from We'll go into all of that. Yes. We'll go into it if you want to. And it is within so, this area so, that so I, I would like to begin right explore. from the beginning? Yes. What do you mean by the word meditation? Um, in the use which I give to it, I make this concept somewhat interchangeable with concepts such as observation, mindfulness, giving total attention to. Therefore, I use the, the word in a broad way. Yes, but I'm, I won't, I'm asking the 
what the world conveys, not the structure of meditation. But what the actual word, word. conveys. Um, the word to me... Um, the etymological meaning of the word. Uh, to me, um, it means to give care and attention to the here and now. Yes, um, just yes. you're not, we're not meeting each other. Uh-huh. As far as I understand, <coughs> looking into the various dictionaries, yes. it means to ponder over, yes. to think over. And also, <coughs> the word in Sanskrit too, I believe, means to measure. Yes. Right? So it's really a process of measurement. Yes. Hmm? To measure what, what? What is, what should be, uh-huh. yes. what one might achieve, yes. what has been, and this comes within the, the within meditation itself. You just meet. Yes. Okay. We are inquiring into the question: What is meditation? Not how to meditate. Yes. Not all the various systems, whether the Buddhist, Hindus, Tibetan, or any other guru, with a particular system mm-hmm. of meditation. We are not discussing for the moment, no. if, if that is correct. But what is meditation itself? Yes. I think it implies the meaning of the word, the meaning, the substance of the mm. word, is constant endeavour. Mm-hmm constant self-recollectedness, yes. constant uh, observation of what one is doing, what one is not doing, co- attention to your body, the movement of your body, yes. the controlling of the th- controlling thought, yes. mm-hmm. and forcing thought to hold itself. Right? Yes. All this is implied in all the systems. Yes. Right? Whether it's Zen Buddhism, right? right? Whether it is the Tibetan, the Hindu, the Buddhist, or even the Christian contemplation, mm-hmm. yes. is a sense of effort is involved. Mm. Right? Right. Now, this, the application of the mind which includes um, effort, includes giving care and attention to All thought. that's implied. Yes. Um, is that within the scope of meditation? That is generally understood as yes. meditation. Yes. Probably that's what you also help to do. Yes. Mm, so you, if I may, I don't know what you do, yes. but if I can include you, yes. what you do, in all this. Let's be clear. First, there's the whole Zen system. Awareness, sitting absolutely still, yes. and having, quieting the mind, yes. mm, controlling the mind, brain, yes. controlling every reaction. Yes. Um, but I would say the <coughs> element of control certainly comes in because... For the uh, yes, I mean, of course, of course. It come control part of control, mm. but that's more um, the initial expression because of the unfamiliarity of being obliged to sit still for varying periods of time. No, just me. Yes. So these are the central factors of meditation. Yes. Right. Yours or any others, mm-hmm. which is to to. To control, mm-hmm. yes. Control in the sense to hold. Yes, but right. 
but that is, uh, I would say, a certain stage within the scope of Yes, sir, that's meditation. measurement. That's measurement. Yes. Right? Yes, right. That's why I use in meditation, the, the word meditation implies measurement. The beginning and the end. Yes. Yeah. Whether that end and the beginning are in law, a, a distance, mm -hmm. or no measurement. Right. Yes. But isn't it quite often that the individual enters into a new area, such as meditation, and giving his or her conditioning, says, I am going to meditate in order that I come to somewhere else. Yes, that's generally what is understood. Right. But that initial understanding, of course, may change as a person's understanding of meditation changes. Yes, that is, that's all measurement. Yes. I am not understood, but I will understand yes. if I move. Yes. Which is, I am this, Yes. Whatever this is, and I will come to that. Yes. Which is a time interval, a, a, a distance, mm. all that is measurement. Right. But are you implying here that by establishing a measurement, it in some way no, I'm negates not, I'm just, the purpose. I'm, I'm just observing mm. first. Yes. Not right. condemning or agreeing or changing. Right. I'm, we, I'm clearly saying yes. that <coughs> in meditation, those who practice meditation, taking various postures, cross-legged or whatever posture yes. be, there is the element of time, measurement, control, yes. and something to be achieved. Yes. Right? These are the central factors in all meditations. Yes. Um, but I can't, in listening, I, you, you are... You are speaking very um, precisely and accurately about all forms of meditation. But I have, there's an underlying feeling which I get that um, it's inappropriate to appropriate... I, I, I'll tell you exactly what I, what I will yes. tell you. There's no underlying <laughs> hidden something. Now, this is, these are these various factors yes or various facets of meditation, yes. which you are through perhaps, and the others, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But we've never asked, why should I do all this? Um, why should I meditate? What's it? I am do I am doing exactly the same thing in other directions. Yes. Right? Yes. I I want I'm a poor man, I want to become a rich man. Yes. I am a I am I don't know, but I will know. Yes. Right? I am a, a clerk, but I will become the executive. Yes. Hmm? Hmm. I don't know how to drive a car. But give me uh, three weeks' time, I learn it. Yes. Just follow <laughs> yes. It's the same movement. Absolutely. But there is a qualitative difference. But it is the same movement. Here, you are trying something so called spiritual. Mm. Yes. Right? Yes. There, you are, it's mundane, it is worldly, it is necessary. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? And one has to have money, clothes, shelter, therefore it's necessary to work, etc., etc. I have there also certain discipline there. Mm. And here too I must have discipline. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Yeah, yes. right? But 
within the... I'm not condemning anything, I'm just watching. Right. So within pointing out that there are two major parallels between one movement of mind which is more... Not parallel, they're exactly the same. Ex yes, they are exactly the same in terms of the, the movement of mind. Yes, sir, brain. It's exactly the same. The clerk saying, give me another ten years, I'll be manager. Mm. And then give me another five years, I'll be top boss. Mm. Right? Right. Here too, give me, I'm the beginner, yeah. I'll progress and come to the top which is nirvana, heaven, uh, illumination, uh, understanding, yes. I've found truth, all that. Right? Yes, yes, What's the difference between these two? Um, I, I feel there is a certain difference. Um, I don't wish to um, uh, exaggerate the importance too much of the relative path of inner development. It's exactly the same thing, only you call that worldly development, here spiritual, inner. Yes. This is psychological, mm. subjective, under the skin. Yes. The other, I go to office or factory every day, practice. Mm. I practice that. But, the, but the, I would say the difference is that this in spite of the um, identical uh, nature of the two, one does contribute towards intelligent inner change and the other denies it. So which self? No. The other doesn't deny it. Um, the, the other changed, doesn't help it. I changed from a clock, now I roll, I've got a Rolls Royce or a Mercedes. Mm. I've changed. I have a better house, better garden, mm. and etc. Blah blah. But hopefully, I'm looking at looking at things in a positive way. The uh, this is I'm no. If you say positive, I don't. These are both positive. Right. Uh, right. Um, so are, are you saying then, uh, Krishna? Which I'm not, this I've just pointed out. Yes. I'm not saying anything yet. All right. I'm just showing. Perhaps we have extended that mm. money, mm. clock, executive. We have extended the same thing to this world. Yes. Right. I say we. Perhaps we have extended the same ambition. Mm. To this world of the so-called quote spiritual yes, world. Mm. I mean, there is certainly um, an enormous danger in this transference from one kind of world into the other. They're both the same. Right. Just me, sir. It appears that way, right? Yes. So you are telling me if I may, I come to you. And you say, meditate. He says, I don't know what you mean by it. Mm. And you tell me. Begin, right? Mm. Investigate. Pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, you know, all that things yes. that you and others say, carry on, right? Yes. Right? Right. Um, but one has to hopefully be able to communicate to the position, the actual position that somebody is in at a present time. What, is, what does that mean? That may, that may mean that a person is experiencing frustration or confusion or it, pain. So, so, right, which means what? It means that the primary emphasis Initially, uh, don't, yes. don't primary or secondary. No. You see, that's what that means. I'm you're already measuring. Yes. Right. Yes. But I I, I, just look what you are saying. I'm not criticizing. Please, no, no, I'm no. just observing what you are saying. You say primary, the beginning. Yes. And the beginning, therefore, has an end. 
Yes. That's what you're saying. That's what all the gurus, all the Eastern philosophers begin, and you will get it. I'm not saying that. You will come near it. Um, I would say that there is the potential within a person to deepen their receptivity to life. Uh, so I don't, uh, forgive yes, me. Please. What do you mean, deep something in the person? No, to deepen their receptivity. I receive that too. In which way? Huh? In which way? I receive all kinds of reactions there. Yes. Right? Receptivity there is enormous. Mm. Right? Right. Enormous. But, but that receptivity tends to be on the backs of other people to some degree or other. So, there you are trying to escape. Leave that. Depend on yourself. And more towards questioning all of yes, that form of... Questioning. Yes. You have, I've questioned, pursue it so logically, I've questioned all that. Hmm? Yes. I can find a rationale for all that. Yes. To have more money, better. I have to live in this beastly society, therefore I must have more money, otherwise I'll be destroyed. Hmm? Yes. All that goes on there. Yes. And one looks at that and sees that there is a certain... Um, emptiness to it, in some degree that's or other. It. That's it. There it's empty, right? Mm. Here, if I do certain things, I won't be empty. That may or may not pr um, be, be so changed. Do look at it. I'm not yes. criticizing anything. No. I'm not... I'll tell you what I think presently. Right. Not think what uh, yeah, you, to me what think. meditation is. Yes. Um, is. I would say in in the flow of our um, discussion, as I listen to you, what comes to my mind is the condition of a number of people that I have contact with, who in the initial period of some inquiry find it extraordinarily difficult to make a leap which leaves behind this, the relative condition of, say, material pursuit in the various forms we have described and a spiritual pursuit which implies certainly a beginning, though it may not have to imply the end as such. Yeah. Just me, that's what you, that you're saying, repeating, forgive me, you're repeating the same thing, mm. right? That's what they all say, Tibetans, Buddhists, uh, the Hindus, the Gurus, they say. But that, does that undermine the fact that, that it is, has a certain repetition to it? Yes. No. And does that disqualify it? No, no, certainly not. But I'm saying, I understand what you have said. By repeating it, you are not making it clearer. Oh. Um, in, a, in a way, I am, by repeating, I am, um, how to say, um, trying to acknowledge the reality of in various individuals' human condition. So, human, human beings all over the world are conditioned. Yes. Right? Yes. As Christians, as Buddhists, or as scientists, as doctors, mm. as carpenters, or gurus, they're all conditioned. Right? Yes. Those people who meditate and those people who don't meditate. Yes. They're all conditioned. Yes. By their culture. But is that conditioning, let us say the, the spiritual conditioning, <coughs> is it such that it's a total form of conditioning? That's the question, that is, is there in the human be human condition mm. a part mm, or a inward state where there is no conditioning, a small part? Is that mm. what you're saying? Well, well then, um, not so much a small part which isn't conditioning, 
but it does seem within our mental processes that given a certain outlook and attitude on life, we can listen more clearly and directly both inwardly and outwardly. And therefore my question really is, are there optimum conditions, beneficial conditions for this kind of receptivity? We have to go into the question, sir. What do you mean by condition? Um, the, br- the bringing together... Condition. Yeah, I'm asking what do you mean by the word condition? The meditator is conditioned. Yes. But, again, within that conditioning of the meditator, is it such that it blinds the meditator to a consciousness which can see clearly? That means he must be free of the conditioning. At, at least not overwhelmed by it, or overawed by no, it. No, no. This brings a question whether the whole brain Mm. which is, after all, the only instrument we have. Yes. Mm? Mm-hmm. Because the, the brain is all the reactions, all the responses, nervous, neurological, and mm. ambition, greed, yes. envy. It's, the brain is, contains this. Yes. So, in the brain you are asking, which is the condition, mm-hmm. <coughs> within the skull, is there something that will help to free the brain of its conditioning? Yes. Huh? Are you sure you're asking that question? Um, um, I think I'm conceited enough to know, I think I know the answer. So, I, my question is more, within our mental faculties, within our brain, there is an element of mindfulness or observation which is able to see the mental processes clearly and directly. So. Then we have to go into the question for observation. Yes. Huh? Seeing clearly. And can uh, can we, in <coughs> seeing clearly, use... No, but for sure. Yes. What do you mean by seeing? An awareness... No, just don't... You see, tell me, I'm totally ignorant of your words. Don't put me into awareness and all that. What do you mean by seeing? Observing. And the I, observe, I observe that sofa. Yes. I observe that child. Yes. Right? Right. There is a visual observation, mm. the colour, the whole window, mm. what she's doing. I observe. Right? There is observation of mm. that. Right? Right? Right. And in observing, the reactions are mm. verbal, mm-hmm. red, Blue, dark, black. So there is there. In that observation, there's a whole process of verbalization. Mm. Right? Of which one also can be aware of. So there yes, is. But first, this is what is happening. Right? Mm. Don't introduce more. We'll come to that presently. So I don't know if we can come to it. We'll see. In this process, there is a verbalization. Mm? That's green, that's a child, that's, mm. so that means rem- remembrance and recognition, yeah. right? Then there is organization, mm. Mm? Right? right? Then there is what? Go slowly, sir. Then there is what? Representation. Mm. The I, yes. re- I represent the idea. Yes. I mean, um, the first principle. The idea. So these three are operating all the time. Are they operating all the time? Of course. No. Well. So in uh, we were speaking about. You asked me, what is an experience? Yes. And I just responded that an experience is something which affects one. Yes. What is the one? Who is it that's being affected? Um, in my use of the language here, I would say that there is, in more impersonal language, um, consciousness 
and the field of mental experience. Right? There is the field of mental experience, that means moods, feelings, thoughts, emotions. Yes, yes, all right. And that affects the consciousness. And oneself identifies, as it were, the I sense identifies with the consciousness in its connection with the field so of So what is consciousness? The element of being conscious of. I'm conscious of that chair. Right. And in that, there is a relationship formed between the element of consciousness no, and no, the chair. That's consciousness. I see, yes. uh, from childhood, that's been chair. Yes. Right? So would you say, to bring it uh, without too elaboration, mm. consciousness is, the, is its whole content. Yes. Its However, whole content, not just some content, all the content. Memories, reactions, yes. fears, pleasure, pain, depression. But given our moment-to-moment -moment existence, the content changes. Yes. Varies. But it's still content. Right. Within this, within this area, which we call consciousness, mm -hmm. whether it's small, big, that's not important. All the element, physical, biological elements, yes. reactions, right? Yes. Responses, memories. Yes. Uh, the tendencies and so on, fear, sorrow, pain, depression, aspiration, envy, and brutishness. Mm -hmm. I be, I'm a British, I'm an Indian. Right. All that is my consciousness. Right, but in the form of language that you're using here, you're making the consciousness and the content totally identical. Yeah, I said, without the content, the consciousness as we know it is yes. non-existent. Right. So, I mean, certainly one cannot have a separate existence from the other. I didn't say the other. The, you're, no. tr you're saying the other. Uh -huh. Right. I, so I take an ordinary person, any person, yes. he's Consciousness is what he is, right? Mm -hmm. What he thinks, what he feels, yes. what his aspiration is God, he believes in God, he doesn't believe in God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's a Catholic, non Catholic, Protestant, Hindu, Buddhist, and his own fears, his own tendencies, his longings, his loneliness, his despair, all that is his, his consciousness. Yes. Okay. And so there is a condition of the consciousness. That is his. Mm -hmm. That is his condition. Right. And within that condition of the uh, of the consciousness, oh, no, is that is his consciousness. <laughs> there is not another consciousness. No. You can invent another consciousness, mm. super consciousness. But he's still within the consciousness. Right. But it's not a point I... It's quite clear to me, because in looking, for example, at the chair, it, it's too far to say the consciousness is the chair. Huh? There's, the, there's, a, there's a, an object in... Yeah, I yeah, would say an object yeah. in consciousness. Of course. And that object in consciousness means that there is a stated re re relationship which is there. And I it, said so, sir. Yes. And doesn't that apply equally to the whole scope of the mind experience? So I'm seeing the whole brain is conditioned. Yes. Conditioned, in, this conditioning is its consciousness. Yes. Right? Yes. So, if I'm born in India, if one...
to find within oneself how can a greater I clarity of the events which are happening. Yes, sir. That's very simple. Clarity of what is happening. Yes. There is a meeting between Raigan and Gromiko. Mm. Mm? Yeah. They are both playing games. Yes, sir. One is playing political game mm. to get more elected. The other is definitely concerned about his opinions, his mm -hmm. etc. Yeah, but that's very clear. You don't have to see what they're going to say. No, no, no. This is quite it's apparent. very clear. Yes. Now, a professor comes along. I'm coming in a few minutes. I'm now. I just want to tell you. Excuse me. Yes, please. Um, look, we're upstairs in the wallpaper room, and when you're through, it should be kind enough. What? If you stop by in the wallpaper room. Right, right, through. right. So you move, we are moving away from the central fact yes. that human beings are conditioned. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are being programmed as computers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. That's obvious. I yes. mean, this doesn't even yes. a lot. And human beings from before Homo sapiens mm. has been searching something wanting something spiritual. Mm. Yes. What he called religion, let's put it there. Mm. And that's a fact. Mm. Right? Yes. And there have been people who have been saying, yes, there is something there, spiritual, called spiritual, mm. religious. And this has been going on for million years. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there, and <coughs> You come around and say, to find that, mm. meditate. Mm. Put it crudely. Yes. I can put it much more subtly if you want to. I prefer subtlety. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> to reach that sublime thing, mm. the mind, must, the brain must be tranquil. Yes. Right? Yes. They say the same thing, yes. the Buddhists, mm. the Zen, the Hindu, mm. Christians have gone into this question very deeply, no. the others have. So then the problem arises, who is it that's going to make it silent? Right? Right? Yes. Who is the controller that controls thought? Yes. Hmm? Right? Yes. We, we never asked that question. Kay is hmm. asking that question. Yes. We say we must control thought. Gurus also control thought. Um, but within the scope of inner observation, with form, such as sitting still, that but question may, must have I must be very careful, say, well, inner, com, inner observation, what do you yes. mean by that? Meaning, in this case, sitting... Wait, in, wait, yes. why should I do that, when I could do it much more simply? Which is, my relationship to my wife or husband, I watch my reactions there. Yes, but that, that one doesn't exclude I know, the other. No, I begin there. Yes. Like right. I'm, I begin to see in my relationship the whole structure of myself. Right. I don't have to go to you to teach me how to meditate. No, no one, cer one certainly doesn't have to go. And, um, but I'm, I'm but saying what we, that's what's happening in the world. You have become the guru. But I'm pre too please, I'm not being insulting, please. That is an insult to me. <laughs> so I say to you, say, don't go through all this elaborate process of meditation and all that. Yes. You have a very good opportunity to learn about yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is self-knowledge, knowing yourself, which is your relationship with nature. Yes to your wife, to the politician, to your neighbor, to, to whom you are talking to. Yes. Hmm? You can be aware of all your reactions. Mm. 
Right. That is, then go further. Right. Now, I don't so need anybody to tell me how to go. If that's my interest, I want to find out. No, right. And, and certainly that must be, in fact, the major emphasis. That is the only emphasis, not major. Okay. But given the... Not okay, you see. <laughs> that is the only thing I can begin with, because I'm related to everything all my life. But if I may say, um, people within the pressure of the social reality... Oh, yes. ...find but it's... Impossible. Exactly. Now, I say, no, don't, that means you haven't understood society and your relationship to society. You have created this awful, corrupt society, because you are like that. But if within, the, within that the person is genuinely floundering within it... Then what? stop, stop. What? Stop what? This floundering. Yes. You see, this is <laughs> so simple. And then somebody sets up and says, I'll help you. Mm. This game has been going on for a million years. Somebody, the priest, mm. the in, who intervenes between you and God, mm. is a psychiatrist. They are all trying to help. And that, yes. <laughs> And therefore, you are making the listener who you, whom you are helping weaker. Oh. Because he relies on all this. He, you don't tell him everything you find out. Don't depend on anybody. Yes. That, and that is um, an indispensable emphasis to encourage people to... I don't win. want to encourage... No. You see how you are using these words? I don't want to encourage anybody. I don't want to help. K doesn't want to help him. It is so. Look! It's right in front of your nose. The whole world and yourself in relation to the world. and. There is something much greater than that. You go into it. Yes. But should I be a leader? We have had, sir, historically, how many leaders have we had? Yes, yes. I, am, I agree completely with, with, uh, with you. Sir, we talk about meditation. If you really want to do yes. K says this, any form of conscious meditation is no meditation. Oh, this is, a, this is tough language. Why? It is desire that's making me sit, sit cross-legged. It's desire that says I must achieve. But can't the desire... Uh, so you, then you, have, you haven't understood what is desire, what is the nature of desire. Why, sir, mm. please, meditation is something entirely different. Not all this intellectual or emotional or <clears throat> effort. Yes. It is something that must be done. Not must be done. Something which has consciousness with all its travail, with all its anxiety, pain, loneliness, sorrow, all that must be understood first. That is the corruption. Not pornographic books and drugs. Corruption is when we are selfish, arrogant, personal, yes. envious. So, 
within that is you know there is the there begin start there 